Hello, this is Breuer, and welcome back to an episode of our Let's Play for Civilization VI, playing as Grand Columbia. We've already knocked out one civilization, or at least got their capital. We haven't completely knocked them out. Um, you get a little bit of a penalty. Um, or do you just get the penalty from the capital? Maybe you just get the penalty from the capital, and it doesn't matter if we took the city or not. Honestly, though, this city's not worth much, and it would be a little bit hard to kind of get in there and attack with the hills and the woods and the... The uh, walls he's got and things like that. Really just not worth our time. We'll, li we'll let him have his token little city over here. He's a city-state now, effectively. Um, so I'm okay with that. We're trying to go after Scotland here before he gets ramped back up again. Um, and he's at 135. And it, he's got enough production to be able to ramp up pretty quickly. So hopefully we can get over here and... No things. Hopefully we can get over here and deal with him quick and in a hurry. And I currently have open borders with you. I'll at least poke in there just to see what's going on here. Doesn't have any units there at the moment. I'll just wait to move you until I can move some of these other units, although... A lot of these units are out of your range anyway. Uh, let's move you out of the way. Move you up. Move up as far as you can. It's good that we got this extra movement, but even that, even with the extra movement, we still got a long ways to go. Um, and then we can move you now, I think. Uh, actually, we're going to leave you right there to help cover those guys. I should have moved you back to cover those guys. It's going to be okay, though. Uh, yes, we do want to watch. 380, okay. So, as soon as we get enough, actually, it looks like two turns. We'll definitely walk, knock that out. Warrior monks, really? 35 melee strength is not bad. They've got some interesting promotion paths. I still think I want the watts first, but that's tempting. Huh. The watch gives us a little bit of science and some faith to help get more for other things. Wow, that's pretty. Those are nice, actually. They have the potential to get upgraded pretty well, too, if you get them early enough. Uh, I mean, I could just hard build a watch, I suppose. Uh, let's just get a granary here. Keep focusing on some of the infrastructure and things. All right, you have one build left. All right, we'll go ahead and go for the cows I was going to go for earlier. And once I get this campus, that's going to be pretty awesome. Really good signs from that. We really need to get my money situation figured out too, though. Um, Got to get my... Uh, I only have two trade routes. Need to get some more of those for sure. I'm actually a little surprised you guys didn't have harbors already. All right, monument is done. I do want the campus. It's a good tile there. It's a great tile there. Probably wait till we can go out there and chop that and all that fun stuff. In fact, what we're going to do, I'm going to get you a builder. Run over there, either buy the tile or whatever, consume the copper, put our campus down. All right. Can I move you back to be able to move the other guys forward quicker? I assume this will at least help some of these guys. All right, uh, I kind of want you to be, I guess, over on this side. Get some vision for us. Unless you guys start moving up. Alrighty, uh, he's up to 190. He is growing, so that is getting a little scary. Just got another settler out there. He's gonna be so tough. Let's 
Right, anybody that needs healed up, I probably need to hang back like a tick. Uh, 60 gold for 20 horses. It's not great, but I don't really need the horses right this second. Uh, the gold would help me out, get up to where I can upgrade one of these other guys here soon. How close are we to the era? Two turns. Oh, we only need three points. Wow, of course. Of course we're that close to a golden age. Why wouldn't we be? What are we in right now? We're in a normal, yeah. Back-to-back -back normals when we're that close is kind of rough. Are there any, there are any great people we can pick up, are there? Not, not at all. Hmm. And I don't think there's any just points we can get from anything specific. I mean, this thing right here would give us a few points, but it's a long ways away because of the extra adjacency. Oh well. It is what it is. Alright, you're actually going to... I'm going to try and heal you a tick right here. Or I could just... Actually, I may just move you out of the way. I'm going to move you guys around to flank this thing a little bit. I'll just... So I was going to say I'll move you short, but you can't shoot past the woods. Healed up a tick. Uh, I will heal you up a tick before I forget you as well. So you other guys can move up though. Um, move you up a little bit further. All right, you have some space to catch up. What actually like turn you into a knight? That would be really awesome. Um, three twenty. Wow, but that would be a really strong unit. Um, I mean, I could try and sell some more stuff to somebody. Okay. I mean, we need to start getting some commercial hubs down. Oh, that's a really good commercial hub. Uh, and it is not next to a plantation, so that would actually be pretty good. So let's get us a builder here. Go chop that, and we'll put a commercial hub there. All right, what are you doing, sir? Let's get a couple places for plantations, or so haciendas, I should say, as well. Um... Let's repair the... doesn't really matter. You're going to be fine one way or the other. Get some more faith coming in. Speaking of faith, we can come up here, grab your what? A little bit of science. Cannot go wrong with that. Uh, I could put you over here in this little circle, but you might just get bopped out soon. Got a lot of science stuff coming out here soon, so that's is going to help out quite a bit. I mean, we are still a long ways away from this guy, but we are starting to ramp it up quite a bit quicker. I mean, I don't want to declare war right now, so I'm going to lie to you. I think the worst that happens is I get some extra grievances, and I don't really care. Um, oh yeah, gold discounts. That's right. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Um, definitely think we want to get rid of that for a second. At least pop the gold discount thing in for now. Because that will actually think it, let us get us a knight. Or get that other crossbowman. Hmm. I don't know which one we want more. Oh, we don't have enough gold for that anyway. Um, but we can get it soon. Right, you're just going to heal there for a tick. You're going to move over to the other side. Um, we're very close to being able to declare war, though. Especially once this catapult gets up in range. At least having that catapult... I will feel much better. All right, you're going to heal a tick. Um, you guys can start moving up. I think I'll just upgrade you. We'll get the knights eventually. We'll get there. 
Uh, I kind of want you to heal a tick. So I guess just only get to move one, one spot. Cool. I think we can declare next turn. Assuming we have the denouncement ready. Yeah. Okay. I think we declare next turn. I mean, he's getting stronger every turn. So we got to be careful, but I think it's going to be okay. Research. What do we want now? Do we even have Niter? I'll have to go check here in a second. Getting the coursers. We do have a couple of horsemen, which would be pretty useful. Uh, at least putting a turn or so in there. How far are we away from a six-slot government? I mean, exploration's up there. Divine right, it's not too far away. Uh, we could actually probably get divine right without too much trouble because uh, we, I think we will get two temples. A bit of faith coming in wouldn't be too bad. But I still want Granada. Just kind of hoping to get Granada before we declared war, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen. Uh, you can move up to help cover these guys. And then you're help covering those guys. That's going to be fine. And we're about to get another one here in one turn. Two points away. Oh, so sad. Like, is there anywhere we can get two points somewhere? I don't think so. We definitely don't have the gold or anything like that for this. Um. Yeah, I don't think there's any way to get any more points. It's a shame. Well, what you going to do? Yeah, we're going to get another temple over here, so that'll get, at least get that. Ah, oh well. It is what it is. Uh, you're ready to rock and roll. See building walls in scone? Don't see any, so I don't think so. Declare next turn. Got some pikemen. Or pike shot, I should say, which are going to be really rough against my my cavalry up here. This guy right here is really annoying me. Of course, you did not kill him, even though it said that you were very close to it. Which means this guy... So we're not, we're not declaring war this turn, because that's just annoying. Silly. Because I want to move that cross or that catapult right there. Actually, we'll move you there and we'll move the other guy up. Okay, that's fine. It will work out. Uh, you're probably okay to move up. All right, make a dedication. Um, Non-barbarian non naval unit, I don't care about that. Don't care about converting. Building the special districts or completing trade districts is probably the things I want. Let's go with monumentality. I think that's going to happen slightly more often. All right, you get one turn stay of execution, my friend. Sure would prefer these eyes to be knights going against those pikes and shots, but we'll just have to deal with it. Hey, hello. Congratulations on being way out of the way. What do you got? One promotion level to a military land unit and gold equal to 50% of the purse cost of the unit. Oh, wow. That's pretty good. Let's move you up here. Alrighty. Uh, we will... I mean, it's only going to save us one turn. But we will get that eventually. Turn's a turn. It's probably we don't have two sea realtors. So that's kind of funny. I should probably just hard research education. I don't think we're getting us a great scientist anytime soon. Um, actually losing diplomatic favor. Did we... Um, I was about to, well, to check something. I don't remember now. 
Oh well. I do need to hook up some of these. Like there's a sea resource there. There's probably one over here somewhere, isn't there? Yep, there's one up here. So we have a couple options for those that we can at least trigger that bonus. I don't think it's super critical that we go for that, like waiting to get those things. I mean, it's not saving us a lot of time, but why not? There's no reason to, we don't need the sea stuff. All right, so he is moving some piking shots up. Our crossbowmen hopefully can deal with that because those guys are going to be pretty tough to deal with. The federal government, but doesn't have to take the civil service examination. Um, I don't think I need this right now. We got some time to wait before that becomes a good thing again. So we'll plug this thing back in here. I mean, is plus one production still what we want? Probably not, but it's okay. I mean, the 100%. You know, honestly, that might be helpful. We do have a few holy sites. It's going to give us a decent amount of uh, faith coming in. I think that could add up to being pretty good. Still working on Divine Right. I'd like to get something. Um, do you have any amazing... Oh, you have the same amazing copper one up here that the other guy does. I could start putting yours here, which will sort of help us a little bit. But this is a plantation, isn't it? Yes. So we're going to want that surrounded by uh, haciendas. So there's really not any amazing, amazing place. You know what? Let's see if there's any good commercial hubs. Uh, I mean, not terrible. I'd probably put it here, I guess, because I want to stay away from the plantations. Sure. More commercial hubs are going to be good. Uh, let's repair your monument. Why not? All right, uh, we need to move you out temporarily because you'll get kicked out anyway. We can declare war now. <sighs> we gotta do this because we've, we've just gotta knock this guy down a peg if at all possible. All right, so you're gonna move in. Is that forest? It is wood, so you will not be able to fire from there, are you? Will you? Of course not. Let's move you in first, though. Oh, wow, you're tough. Not going to be easy. Got to be careful with my horseman here, because those piking shots are going to just chew him up. It's okay, because um, I might move the swordman around this way, actually. So got more units to come down. And another general. Probably will consume one of these generals here in a little bit. I'm not going to do it right this second. Got to be really careful with these guys, though. Um... I think I can poke my head up here at least and look. Do you have enough movement to move, move up here and plunder this? Yes, but not enough movement to get out of the way. Uh, you won't be able to kill, attack me because you'll go across the water. You, I don't think either one of you guys can attack me. I don't think. I could be wrong, but I don't think they can. Same for here, I don't think. Oh, that's gonna get shot by that guy though. We'll just leave you there for now. Move you up, cover all of this. Technically move up one. Um, that's hills, I don't think he can attack me either. Which actually means this guy can move up one. I think we're still good, okay. I may move this catapult over here and start working on Aberdeen because it's gonna be a little bit crowded up here anyway. Yeah, that's probably the right move. Alrighty, good stuff. Alright, so they are going to be close enough to attack me now, so I do have to be careful now. Alright. Like, for example, these crossbowmen really need to try and shoot those guys, but they can't. So I guess we keep focusing on the city for now. Okay. 
kind of limited on our options. I mean, I gotta get this guy out of here. Because he will not hold up against that. Um, Swordman sort of can, but not very well. Let's move you up here. Of course, there's a crossbowman there. I'll move you back. Just stay away from that crossbowman a little bit. I'm gonna move you up. I'm not gonna do this attack, but I feel a bit less, you know, less concerned about you being there. This crossbowman. Just move up there. Hello, crossbowman. I didn't even see you there, my friend. And you're not my friend. That was that was obviously not a serious uh, comment. Desert out of moves. You don't really have anything you can do either. I'm gonna move you up here. Where are you guys coming from? Hmm. All right. I mean, these pike and shots. It's funny that my entire, like, I'm being completely halted by some pike and shots because they're just so strong against what I have. I just gotta back up. Go with that. Um, let's see here. This Fez. It's actually worth a little bit of science as well. That's crossbow is gonna be a pain, isn't he? Of course he is. Of course he is. Uh builder is done. Builder is going to move over here and chop this uh, I do want to get the commercial up, but I can't do it right this second start slow building a knight honestly a swordman's probably as good as anything if he's got those piking shots I mean they're still a little bit weak compared to the piking shots but they're at least better I can't even get a mailing unit in here. These guys, these pikes and shots are so tough. Yeah, if I leave this guy here, he's dead. Um, I guess I will move you. Pretty aggressively. Move you back to that spot. Still take a shot here. I mean, you'll take a sh an attack here in a second, but I think you'll be okay. Just move these cavalry kind of out of here. All right. Uh, stupid mess up here. Go away, crossbowman that's slowing me down. I might need to move this guy over here, actually, to... I, I probably should. Help with this attack. For the moment, you can shoot up here, but I do need to move you up here in a second. These are actually pretty tough. 45 combat strength, 58 combat strength. Now that's not, it's nothing to be uh, you know, laughing about, especially with where we're at. That's what I mean. It's like, I knew he was going to be a little bit technologically advanced. I mean, just the, although I have Pike and Shot. Oh, no, I don't. I don't. I have Pikeman. That's the difference. Yeah, he's got the Pike and Shot, which is even better. So, yeah, he's, he's pretty tough. Pretty tough. How are you losing loyalty? from that really 
Oh. Oh, Fez got taken. Boo. Germany. That's very rude of you. Still can't get Granada. I mean, we're so close, but I just, I'm not sure if I'm feeling as confident now. Not with these piking shots coming up in my face. I mean, we can still trade with Fez, I guess. Still worth something. I mean, it's not amazing, but it's something. A little bit of money can't hurt. Alright, so I mean, catapults can at least still attack here, although maybe they should attack the units. They're not going to do much damage to the units, though. Honestly, the fastest way for me to kill this pocket shot in the city is killing the city. Hmm. I really want to move you up here to take this shot, but I think you just die from this thing. And it's not really going to be enough to turn the tide here. It's funny how two pike shots can make that much trouble. Now the crossbowmen start coming in. There's no walls there, at least. Yeah, there's walls down there. I mean, I would love to take you, but I think you just die from Sterling if I do. Still might be worth it. Get rid of the, get this thing completely. All right. Um, I mean, you just can't do anything here. If I stay here, you're going to get sh attacked by both of these guys and die. I'm, I'm close to being able to take the city with all of you guys, but just not quite there. But I'm more likely to be able to take the city next turn. So I basically sacrifice a unit to be able to take the city next turn. If I move the catapult up and he shoots me, if he takes me with a pike and shot, then he don't think he can kill the crossbowman, maybe. I mean, I still have to deal with this piking shot at some point. So close. I mean, this crossbowman's going to be trouble. Oh, it's actually a uh, uh, levied unit. Wow, okay. Interesting. I think this guy dies. 
I think he goes for the crossbowman. Could go for the catapult. I don't think he goes for the swordman. I could be wrong. I still, we might have a chance of taking the city next turn, though. It's going to be close. Going to be close. I still want the campus over here, although I kind of, at this point, want to save a lot of money. Um... Commercial hub. I mean, if I'm going to put a campus there, commercial hub right next to it wouldn't be bad. Could just put the commercial up here and just put something else in the middle. Probably okay. It's a terrible tile anyway. Uh, let's see here. So you need a granary. You, sure, just work on the temple or something. Your granary, you grow a little bit quicker. Uh, also, what I will do is move my governor to there. I should help. Uh, you can just stay. I mean, you're just going to get kicked back to the city if you get taken anyway. Uh, just retreat back and let's get you healed up to full quicker. Pretty good commercial hub. Uh, I think I'm going to chop this down. I'm probably going to stick something there at some point anyway. I didn't lose anything. I'm a little surprised. Oh, meteor shower! Yes! Free night. Please and thank you. Where are you at? You're really close. Um, kind of want you to go up there and just bop that guy, get him out of the way. But now we got to get up here and get this meteor shower. But then this guy can just shoot me for free. Which actually, we'll move. Come over here. Still be able to get it next turn. All right. Hopefully that doesn't mean we can't take the city. But hey, free night. All right. So definitely that. So we aren't going to take a pikeman or piking shot, I should say. He did the smart thing and moved his pocket shots out of there. Still need to shoot with one of these guys at least. I'll shoot with you. Take it with the swordman. I mean, it has to be because it's the only thing that's over here. So I got rid of a crossbowman that was really not all that amazing because it was. Crossbowman didn't really make much difference. It's possible these two pocket shots can take us going back right away. I mean, we've just got to try and whittle this thing down, these guys down as much as we can at this point. And somehow all you guys survived. I'm not exactly sure how that happened. A little bit of combat shrink versus anti cap might be relevant. I think we do retreat at this point, though. Don't think we need anything else over this way. Did what we came to do. If we can take this city and this city, I might just stop there, honestly. With the walls here, as tough as he is. We'll have made a little bit, not much of a dent, but at least a jumping off point that we can kind of reset. I love it. has got a city over there now. Maybe reset and come at him later. He is not going to be easy to take, though. Nice. We do have to at least have divine right, which is pretty awesome. Uh, let's prepare the monument, and we will go for monarchy. Rocks in my path. I keep them all. With them. I'm gonna create the coursers. Uh, let's put you up here, please. Uh, for the moment, this actually would be useful. Um. Probably one of these things, but I'm gonna plug you in because actually that might help as well. Uh, so short on gold right now. We only got two trade routes. This would be four gold. It's something. 
Housing and amenities couldn't wouldn't be too bad. Actually, you know what? I think that is probably the right move. Now, if we can get Aberdeen and not lose Scone. I mean, it's not a great move, but at least puts us right on the doorstep of his capital. And then we kind of go from there. That would get you killed. Don't want to do that. Aberdeen is not a very easy nut to crack. Let me move this catapult back in a minute. Should be able to get it after that. Oh, I just put you where that crossbowman can get me. That's all right. It'll be all right if he does. Uh, crossbowman heal up, please. You just chopped that, which is all we needed for this for the moment. Um, I don't think I want to put a lumber mill there because eventually it's going to become one of those things anyway. Let's come hook up the amber. Oh, did we ever have any niter? We have niter there, which is within range a little bit. Got some up there, and oh, more. We got we got plenty of niter. Yeah, come over here and hook up the amber, I guess. Swordman, can make your way down here, please? All right, we're a little bit over time. We're going to go ahead and put a cut in there. When we come back, we'll discover the fate of Scone. I mean, it is what it is, but uh, maybe we can, if they take it, maybe we can take it back. If they take it with a pike and shot and leave it in there, maybe we can take it back and then, uh, um, and then at least get rid of the pike and shots. We'll see. But I do appreciate you watching. May God bless you, and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you, and goodbye.